Hey guys, it's Lala and welcome back to my channel, Lala's Land. So what I'm doing today is I've joined a collab hosted by Cruisin' with Crystal and some other wonderful ladies who've joined in. Their links to their channels will be in the description box below. This is a summer DIY collab. And we could do anything, home decor, a recipe, anything like that. And I wanted to show you guys a really cute, easy way to use a mason jar and a few other products to make it a really cute um, decorative so, piece. The first thing I grabbed is this mason jar from the Dollar Tree. The next thing I have is a washi tape, and this is a, uh, I believe this is a Scotch brand, and you can use any, you can use art tape, any kind of tape, and you'll see what we're gonna use it for soon. These are the silver wire LED, or the fairy lights is what I call them. This is not from the Dollar Tree. This is from Michaels. This is the Rose Gold uh, Design Master spray paint. And this is usually, I think, about $7.99, but if you, you know, you can always use a coupon to get it cheaper. And I'm going to go ahead and take my washi. I'm going to wrap it around my mason jar into any design that I want, and I'll be back to show you that in just a moment. So what I've done is I have taken my washi and just went ahead and put any design that I liked around the washi. The bottom doesn't matter. What it's like on the inside doesn't matter. But however much of, you know because you're going to spray paint this so any part that's covered with washi is going to be clear so you can cover as much or as little as you would like with the washi tape because you're going to spray paint this jar so just know whatever is covered with washi obviously will not be have will not have spray paint on that so you want to pick your design that you like for that okay so i've come over here to a part of my um side area where i do as you can see other spray painting so i'm going to go ahead and take my spray paint I took the plastic off it ripped. I'm going to take my rose gold spray paint and I'm going to spray paint the jar. I'm going to do one coat and then I'll be right As you can see here, I have done one coat of my rose gold. It's gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So I'm going to let this dry for about 15, 20 minutes until it's not really tacky when I touch it. And then I will peel off the washi and I will be back. Okay, I've gone ahead and put batteries in my Dollar Tree lights and as you can see here you turn them on they do work so they are glowing so now we're going to go ahead and take our washi off of our jar okay, so as you can see I've taken my washi off and you can see there are some areas you want to make sure it's all the way dry and be careful you don't let your washi get stuck to your stuff because as you can see here my washi kind of touched that. You can always go back with the Q-tip later and touch that up if you'd like. Um, so this is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see well out here in the outside light. And next you're going to add your fairy lights into your jar. So once your fairy lights are in your jar, you have the option. You're gonna want, you can either place the battery pack inside of your jar as well depending on maybe if you want to put some filler in the bottom to hide that, or if you're going to place your jar somewhere that you can tuck that behind something and hide it, that's what I'm going to do. And also, you can either decide to leave that off, or you can just set this on. And you can paint this if you'd like. I'm gonna leave mine the regular gold. Now, you can add the rim to it if you'd like to. Um, it is a little harder to screw all the way on, so you can either just set it. I mean, whatever works for your aesthetic um, will work out fine, but it makes a very pretty piece, and I will go ahead and show you where I would set mine. As you can see here, I've got it setting here. You cannot see the battery pack, it is hidden and this is a perfect perfect piece to set up you can set it just here like i have it on a shelf you can put it anywhere it's super gorgeous i've gone ahead and turned the light off here in this room and as you can see it really does illuminate it's very very pretty and of course you can see all the different sides of it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this super cheap and quick and easy diy you can use this in all sorts of your different summer picnics, your barbecues, all sorts of centerpieces. It just looks classy and nice. So thanks so much for watching and have a good day.